Peter, I can't uh, have a panel. I know this is about storytelling, but the, the idea of boxing not being on HBO is some, something that's almost unthinkable. Um, I mean, it's, it's been such a rich part of your legacy, uh, the, the whole network's legacy. Take us through that decision. What, why did you decide to step away? Sure. So, you know, it, it wasn't a subjective decision. It was, it was strongly rooted in the data that we had seen that uh, suggested not just that boxing was no longer making a dent in terms of our subscribership, in terms of the boxing that was on HBO, but also if we had acquired more boxing from other areas, other um, providers, that if we had housed as much boxing as we possibly could, that that still wouldn't make a dent in our subscriptions. And so in looking at that, it became impossible to ignore. And you know the old Peter Drucker line, there's nothing so useless as doing efficiently that which should not be done at all. And you say to yourself, okay, well, uh, how do we strategically evaluate this and, and make a hard decision? And you know it affects um, you know fighters, promoters, managers, people I know well. And so it wasn't something that was done in a glib way. It was boxing was the second program ever that was on HBO, so there's a rich legacy at the company. But at the same time. It isn't to say that we won't still have a foot in just in terms of what this panel is about in terms of the stories that we tell. And if you take a look at the slate that we have coming up, we have a documentary on Muhammad Ali um, that's directed by Antoine Fuqua and produced by LeBron James and Maverick Carter that will be rolling out in 2019. And that's a good example of the direction where we'll head in the future in terms of boxing, other stories in the combat space. Mm -hmm.